Gucci is going to take the gold. An absolute delight. <laughs> Much celebration there. One will claim gold, one will claim silver. Very quick time, Paralympic record time. A new world record. blocks but very quick underwater and will come up in front but Perez Escalona the world record holder is playing a little catch-up game we're going strongly in lane two is the uh, man who won the world title over the last two editions Chris Corso. bear in mind Perez comfortably quickest in qualifying with the next four swimmers separated by 16 hundredths of a second it's going to be tight in uh, the medal placings well, Perez Escalona had a little spurt there towards the wall, has touched in first, a very quick first 50, 30, 24, and he wasn't far ahead of Crispin Corzo, who was swimming in lane two. Well, Jia Hongwang is desperately battling for gold at the moment. Crispin Corzo, though, is uh, posting a very fast time going in two. Perez is nowhere near a world record time. It's going to be quick, but Crispin Corzo really smoking down that lane in second but he's going to lose it at the end, is he? Indeed, he can't hold up to that 106 time he swam to win at Worlds last year. Perez is going to come home, and it might be in quick time, very quick time, Paralympic record time, gold to Cuba. Cuba celebrating. First gold in the pool, and it belongs to the Parapan champion, the world record holder, Lorenzo Perez Escalona. about who is going to win this race. It looks like Sophie Pasco is going to take it. Pup is really making a push for a silver medal here. And in fact, she's overhauled Riva for that uh, second spot overall. Pasco turns quickest. It's a battle for the silver medal here. Chen Yi has fallen off the pace just a little bit, but it is Pap who touches third just behind Riva. It's all about the final 50 for the other medals, but the gold has been decided already by Sophie Pasco and well ahead of world record pace as well. Set to crack her own world record, the defending champion. She is streaking away. Riva is coming into her own and has again regained the advantage over Pap, who looks to be holding on for the bronze medal. But it is Sophie Pasco who becomes an eight-time Paralympic gold medalist in world record time. Pasco reduced to tears and overcome by the emotion. Showing just how much this title means to her. Start and a great underwater phase for Iha Boki. Comes up first in the lane four into his stroke, making the most of that underwater phase. And he's finding his rhythm in this men's 100 meter butterfly S13 final. Coming into the turn, Iha Boki first to touch ahead of Kirill Pankov. Third is Tsenkayev of Uzbekistan. Oh, he's just so quick. He is so quick. Ihar Boki is not only the man to beat, he's almost guaranteed a gold medal here. There's nobody that's going to be catching Ihar Boki, but the battle is on for uh, silver and bronze. Kirill Pankov is putting in a, a tremendous display for the silver, and the battle for bronze is certainly heating up. Boki. It's going to be incredibly close, but not for the gold medal. Ihar Boki, a new world record. Got such a beautiful, long, loping stroke, Ihar Boki and just looks fantastic in the water. Well, nobody's going to deny him here. The question is whether or not he's going to break his own world record. It's his 14th ever Paralympic Games event. He's on the brink of his 11th Paralympic Games gold. And a silver and bronze to go with that. Ihar Boki is going to swim. Is he going to do it in world record time? And there he is. Ihar Boki in world record time. Ihar Boki has just become the 10th male para swimmer to win more than 10 Paralympic Games gold medals and the first to do it in two Paralympic Games. That is nothing short of an astonishing achievement.
Kalu Said goes in seven, swimming under the Paralympic flag. The Parade of Nations begins with Syrian-born leg amputee swimmer Ibrahim Al Hussein as the flag bearer for the independent Paralympic athletes, the refugee nation, if you will, and Ibrahim joined by Sharad Asajpour, an Iranian discus thrower living in the United States. Give an arousing welcome to enter the stadium first. the wall, spins round, gets her feet onto the touch pad and pushes off that wall. She didn't have the best start, but she has lost a little bit of ground there. Feng Yaju, the Chinese athlete, now on her right hand side, closed a little bit of that margin, but it's in the main bulk of the length where Pin Ju Yip really finds her own and she's got back into that rhythm now. That stroke rate slowed ever so slightly but she's still continuing to open up. And there she is, she's currently ahead of her world record. If she can maintain this pace, we will see another world record set in the pool. Just in front of her own world record pace, I can tell you that Sotska is still looking good for the bronze medal going in lane five, the reigning world champion. And certainly Fung is looking good for a silver medal position, the swimmer from Tianjin. But right now the focus is very much on the Singaporean swimmer to claim Singapore's first gold medal of the 2016 Paralympic Games in the pool. And she's going to do it in world record fashion as well. Yep, Pin Xu is a Paralympic champion once more. Her first title coming in 2008, eight years on, she is still dominating in the S2 class. She's champion of the women's 100 backstroke. A strong start from Ellie Cole, as anticipated. Hannah Apston, the youngster from the United States, also got away well, but now that the swimmers are up and stroking, Elizabeth Smith has the best start early. She's taking it out as hard as she can, but don't discount the experience of Ellie Cole. She knows how to swim this distance, and she is building into the race here, starting to set the pace a little, but it's quite even across the pool, and there's not gonna be much in it as they touch at the 50. Certainly isn't at the moment, but Ellie Cole is the uh person to beat. This is Ellie Cole's race to lose, really. She touches ahead of Marcus Soto with Aspen touching a third overall and Wang a little off the pace. 35.57 at the wall after Cole, the only swimmer to go sub 34 seconds. Marcus Soto, though, trying to launch a uh, an attack on Cole, who leads at the moment by a slim margin over Aspen, but she's got to battle Aspen and Marcus Soto. Ellie Cole is just ahead. Aspen and Marcus Soto are both challenging here, but Ellie Cole, she's eking out the slimmest of margins. She's bringing it home as strong as she can. Ellie Cole has the gold surely from here. She touches in in Paralympic record time. Ellie Cole from Australia ahead of Marquez Soto from Spain and Aspen from the United States gets the bronze medal. Unbridled joy from Ellie Cole. Champion Rodriguez also got away really well and down in seven it's Mullen who's had a terrific start also. He's level in the pool with Daniel Diaz but now that Diaz is finding his range he's not challenged at the moment up in one. Silva's having a great swim buoyed by the crowd an extraordinary standing ovation and we're not even halfway through the race.
Well, at the moment, it is Vo who is making a very quiet move. Vietnam's first ever para swimming medal in the pool at these championships already for Vietnam, and that's silver in the 53. But Daniel Diaz is going to touch the wall first at 33 69, and that certainly could be on for a decent time, if not world record time. But Daniel Diaz turning is looking good for a gold. Roy Perkins is strong in the finish and should be the silver medalist at the moment. But Mullen, while fading a little, is up against Bo for the uh, bronze medal overall. Unless there is a big challenge from somebody, will they be able to catch Perkins? But Diaz is going to make it gold medal number 13 here, uh, number 14 here. Well, Daniel Diaz chasing his 23rd Paralympic record. The crowd willing him home. It's a stunning performance. He's obliterated the field. Daniel Diaz, 1-10-11. Daniel Diaz has delivered the adoring crowd on their feet. A gold medalist again. Daniel Diaz gets away in lane four, going quickly alongside him. There is Andrew Mullen with a great underwater, but as they break water, it's Diaz only just ahead of Mullen. Going strongly in lane two is Iroglu of Turkey, but he'll lose some in the back end. Now a fighting challenge from Veretskai, who desperately wants to medal here. He wants to finish top three. Is it going to be a record, though? This looks to be a very fast time from Daniel Diaz. No, just behind it. But Daniel Diaz is pulling out a lead ahead of Mullen, who might even lose out the silver to Veretskai, who's closing quickest. Daniel Diaz is going to swim to his third gold medal at Rio 2016 and delight the crowd. Brazil gets gold. There was no one challenging him for the gold medal. And the crowd is going absolutely wild here at the Olympic Aquatic Stadium. But Daniel Diaz, an achievement everyone who's here has witnessed will never forget. China by almost a full body length. They've played it well, have China. So China will take the gold medal. Paralympic record time. A most incredible reaction inside this Olympic Aquatic Stadium at that finish. Well, could you script a better finish for the devoted crowd after the evening of swimming they've seen? Well, that was out of this world as a finish. Brazil would be the story. Daniel Diaz led out. Ruan de Souza didn't give much of an advantage to Brazil, but Andre Brazil, superb in the water in the third leg fly, and Felipe Rodriguez brings it home. And there is just enormous emotion, tears all around, because Daniel Diaz has just done something incredible. Rodriguez, Brazil. They're all in tears. Brazil is sitting down. He cannot believe what has just happened. They've just swum some of the best races of their life in this incredible event.